So this is Jonathan Moore, Old Town Historian Channel. We are here uh, just east of Myerstown. We're at the uh, Pennsylvania Historical Marker for the Topahawk and Evangelical Reform Church. Uh, organized in 1727 by Topahawk and settlers. Since 1745, one red rose has been paid annually by the church to the heirs of Caspar Wistar as rental for the land granted by him for erection of the second place of worship. Since 1902, a white rose, a token of appreciation, has been given to the Worcester descendants. We're going to go up over here where the church actually is. You can see the steeple right over top of that house. We're actually going to go over there and we're going to visit the church. We're going to visit the cemetery because it's uh, the last resting place of Isaac Meyer, the uh, founder of Myerstown. So we're going to go up there here in a second. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we are here at the Topahawken, uh, it's UCC now, uh, but it was the Evangelical and Reformed Church. Uh, the Reformed Church and the Lutheran Church, as we talked about, it was something that was a learning process for me. Actually, routinely, back in the settler days, uh, worked together, and uh, they would uh, usually share the same facility uh, for quite a period of time, and then eventually it would split off. But uh, because they were both uh, German in origin. But there's actually a, a historical marker as well. These are the old style uh, historical markers. When they first started doing this, they would place a plaque on like a, a building. Uh, but this is like the one red rose is annually paid by Trinity Reformed Church to the heirs of Casper Whisper of Philadelphia, who in 1738 gave 100 acres of land for church and school purposes. The congregation was reformed by reformed families among the Topahawk and settlers. The first communion service was conducted by Reverend John Philip Bohm, 1727. And this was uh, placed here in 1930. Uh, John Philip Bohm is actually quite an interesting person. We've talked about uh, <coughs> John Casper Stover was in essence the, I guess the founder or the father of the Lutheran Church. Uh, Henry Augustus Muhlenberg would be another one and his father, Henry Muhlenberg, would be considered as well uh, founders and sort of fathers of the modern, say, Lutheran Church <coughs> over here in America. But uh, John Philip Bohm is actually considered to be the father of the Reformed Church. And he, like John Casper Stover, uh, really founded quite a few churches. And uh, is a really interesting guy. He's another person I'd like to do a video on at some point just because of uh, how extraordinary he was. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna quick go over to the uh, old cemetery and then check out a few things. Thanks everybody. All right, so we have visited here before uh, when we did the Isaac Meyer video. So we had visited the church, but this is the first time we did for like the historical marker. So I'm just gonna roughly go over uh, the cemetery. We'll visit Isaac Meyer's uh, grave site again. This is the uh, site of uh, <coughs> a lot of the very first settlers of the uh, region uh, are buried here. So I had to look at the find a grave just to see a number of the different names, but a lot of the uh, first families and prominent families, their uh, ancestors, uh, the first ones, are all buried here. And a lot of them, once again, this is very much a German immigrant population and they are uh, a lot of them are in German here's one you can actually is Michael S. Swope it's like 1850 1870 yeah, only 20 years old that smaller one is most likely a child I would assume there's a uh, Abraham ST like Strart or something like that. I guess spent a ton of time out here because this wind just does not seem to want to go away. But I was out here in Myerstown because I had to go to the doctor and my normal appointment, follow up for everything with my uh, <coughs> my foot and then uh, diabetes and that type of stuff, just to making sure. There's uh, Ellen Kilmer. Looks like a David. David Kilmer. 
but uh, we also wanted to go over like my cough, uh, which <coughs> weirdly I was not expecting this. Like part of it is allergy, so they gave me something for that. <coughs> part of it is apparently my one uh, uh, heart, I guess, uh, or blood pressure medication, lisinopril. Apparently one of the side effects it could cause coughing, like issues with your lungs, which is like, that's awesome. So it doesn't sound like it's a whole lot of people that have that issue. You look at just like the, the the way they did this stone is just phenomenal. The artisanship is unbelievable in this. And they have like all these little symbols just like that. If you see down here, they all have meaning. They're actually uh, I found out they're sort of they're not. I mean, it's sort of heritage, but it's also as well as like sort of like the German stuff that came with. They all have meanings. It's like a pagan type meaning. And that's not necessarily like, you know, people hear pagan, they think, oh, Satanist. That's not what that is. It's just, it's sort of, they're one with nature. <coughs> they observe nature, that type of stuff. And like I said, a lot of it has to do with warding off. Like you'll see in Dutch country, you'll see these markings on barns. It's a lot of it's to ward off like evil spirits and that type of stuff. So they, each individual one does have meaning. Uh, and they're pretty unique in that regard. Uh, what they all mean exactly, I'm not really sure, but it is interesting. There's a Heffel, Hefflin finger, which that's a very uh, Dutchy type name. I knew a couple people when I worked at Hershey, last name was Heffelfinger. And this is sort of, and you have the uh, the Dutch sort of uh, way of spelling things, it's like that is, or the German way is, is just, or Dutch as well, is slightly different. And then over time, like Isaac Meyer, eventually from being M E, or I think it's M, I think M E I R, or it's I E I R, um, and changed eventually to Meyer, M Y E R, uh, just sort of the way, or M E Y E R. They just sort of they changed over time. Like you'll even see, like in a cemetery where you say you have a lot of a family is is buried there. You'll see over time that they change. But this is where Isaac Meyer is actually uh, buried. And if you remember that video, he was actually uh, murdered by an assassin. And here you see the name Isaac Meyer. It's M E I E R. I had that wrong. But then it eventually changed. We're kind of like Myerstown is M Y E R S T O W N. So there's different spellings of Meyer, but it eventually like becomes English, Englishy, and goes with that. But is this sort of this is a neat tombstone because it almost has almost Nordic type look of like the way the letters are laid out, and it just everything is like together. But uh. There's a couple other really, really unique tombstones up here that I want to show you that are in here. Just the, the way they made them. Uh, especially in this area, they'd have like a skull and crossbones sometimes. And just, they, there's, here's one of them that has the skull. It's just like really, like, I think I took a picture for Instagram for this, but it's just like a really eerie type stone. Like one of those things you really think of like a Halloween type stone like sleepy hollow headless horseman type eerie feel but number of revolutionary war vets in here and like i said i normally would spend more time but it is so freaking cold and like i said with my fibromyalgia the rest of me is fine but my fingers and my hands just freeze really really quickly because i'm just with fibromyalgia you're like way more sensitive than you should be with certain things and this is sort of a unique stone. We're gonna come out since I'm out here in Myerstown. I do a couple, a couple videos of things. I might go down to Stroudsburg because there's a uniquely here in Myerstown, which is something I didn't know. They actually had uh, this is cool. I think this, these are some of Cliff's uh, ancestors. Uh, Franz Paul Zeller. And I was thinking about potentially going down in between Newman's Town and uh, 
uh, Richland, which I'm not sure if I'm going to just because of how cold I am. <laughs> I'm such a child about this, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, <coughs> maybe go down to Fort Zeller, check that out. Um, but they had in this area, there's actually two, two of the first governors of Pennsylvania are actually from this area. One was from Myerstown. I believe he was the first pastor of Freedon's Lutheran Church. And uh, then there's also a guy that actually have a historical marker up here that I'd like to do a video on that he, uh, I believe, I believe it was like 1803 to 1809 or something like that. He was uh, governor, so it's sort of weird. You have two from this area, like this little small area that are, were governors of Pennsylvania, some of the first ones. But anyways, with that, I'm going to go warm up in my van again, and uh, we will see you guys all about town.